Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a uh, good uh, good weekend so far. And uh, I wanted to talk, the, uh, the last video I just did, I was initially going to do my top five former and current players in the same video, but as I got done with the top five former players, I looked at the time on the video and I decided, oh, okay, I'm going to split this up into two videos. Otherwise, the whole thing would have probably been about 40 minutes and I, yeah, I, I don't want to bore you guys that long. You know, 40 minutes, yeah, you know, you know, a lot, a lot of, you know, that, that can be, that can be a little, little, little boring, you know, a little, you know, a little rambly. So I decided to split it up into two videos. So go check that video out on the uh, on the channel, and uh, you can see who my top five are. And then uh, you can also let me know who your top five former former uh, players used to be. So in this one, I'm going to do my top five current players. But uh, before I get into who my favorite my five my top five uh, current players are, uh, if you guys are new to the channel or you're new to hockey in general, I'm very, very happy that you're here. And uh, if you love the sport like I do, it would be greatly appreciated and it would be very awesome if you'd hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to hit, if you want to be notified anytime future videos are uploaded, you can go and tap the little bell and it, you, it will turn on notifications for uh, any time a future video is uploaded. So... We're down to well, hi Annabelle. <laughs> one of our one of one of one of the one of the, pu one of the puppies came into the shot. Oh, really? You want you want you want you want to make an appearance? All right, here's here's one of our puppies. Oh, hi. Yeah, <laughs> here's Annabelle. I think you guys you guys have all seen her before. She's just having to come roaming in, and yeah, yeah, she kind of yeah she 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 kind of she kind of loves daddy. Can't you tell? <laughs> can't you tell yeah you want to say hi to the people yeah hi 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 i'm a little cutie <laughs> all right all right gotta get on with this list there bell bell mm. yeah you go girl oh okay so so now on to my top five current players in the uh, in the league and uh yeah, these are some pretty good players. These are some, uh, definitely uh, some pretty good players. Number five is this guy. He's pretty darn good. He's won back-to-back -back Stanley Cups. And he's... He, of course, he's the captain of the Tampa Bay Lightning. That is Steven Stamkos. He is, I mean, you know, he, he, over, he overcame injury, has overcome injury. The series against the, the 2020 final against Dallas, he had been hurt basically all year. He, 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 he's, he was like, okay, I... I'm good enough. I can come in and play. He comes in. He's not 100%. He's not healthy. We could, you know, I mean, obvious. But he still went out there. He still tried. He played a shift. I believe he played one shift. And he scored a goal in that in that final. And I remember just, I, I saw him score that. And I was just like, yeah. It was so neat. Because he had been he had been he had been out all year, and this was the bubble playoffs. This was this was this was the 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 2020 uh, you know pause slash you know the, the the season that was paused, and then they then they went into the bubble, which is you know has led to the reason why we've had a flat cap for the last three years, and but it was so cool to watch him. So awesome to watch him, and to see him score that goal was 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 incredible. And to see him still be able to go out on the ice and skate the Stanley Cup, even though he was not healthy, because he didn't come back until 
I mean, what was it? It was still, what, two or three months into the next season before he was actually able to finally come back, and that's when we had the weird divisions with the all-Canadian division and that. That, that, other, that other COVID year where no fans were in attendance. Again, you wonder why the why the why the cap has been flat for the last three years, 2020 and 2021. There's the reason why. But Steven Stamkos, fantastic player, two-time Stanley Cup champion, and uh, and yeah, just a just a phenomenal phenomenal player. Number four on my current player list. I think I'm spelling his name right. Because there's a couple different ways to spell it. But if I'm if I'm misspelling his name, let me know in the comment section. Austin Matthews. Austin Matthews, even though he is on a team that is, yes, they are a perennial playoff team. But wow, they don't know how to get past the first round. They finally get past the first round this year. And then it's like everybody got so excited. They finally won a round. They forgot you got three more rounds to win if you want to win the Stanley Cup. Because, yeah, they went into that series, that second round series against Florida. And Florida just Florida ran, just ran them out of the building. Just ran that, just totally ran their show. And, and ramrodded the Maple Leafs right out of the playoffs. But Austin Matthews, phenomenal, phenomenal player. He's looking to get an extension. The Leafs want to lock him up long term. Whether or not he wants to be there long term, I don't know. But you know, he's already making he's making over eleven million dollars this year. And you know, I think he's he's looking to, he's looking to get paid more. I don't know if the Leafs are going to be able to do that. I think they might they might try, but you're looking at four guys between Matthews, Marner, Nylander, and Tavares. You're looking at four guys that all want to be that all want to be making over double digits. Tavares is making 11. I mean, can you can you justify four guys on your team taking up half of your cap, more than half of your cap? I don't know. But Matthews is looking for an extension and uh we'll see what we'll see what happens if he if he signs an extension and if he does sign an extension, how long? It's going to be short or is it going to be the full 8 years? Toronto would like to do it for 8 years. But we'll see what uh, we'll see what he does. But yeah, Austin Matthews, number four on my on my list of current players. Number three. Now this this one this one was this one was tough. I kind of went back and forth on this of who was going to be number three and who was going to be number two. But I finally settled on this guy for number three. Sid the Kid, Sidney Crosby. When the lockout finally ended in 2005, we lost that whole season. And I know, I remember as a fan, I was not happy. <laughs> I hated the fact we lost the whole season. But again, that was a situation we all saw coming, you know, more than a year ahead of time. We knew that that the owners and the players were going to they were going to come to a head and it was going to be ugly and ugly it was we lost the entire 2004-2005 NHL season but when they finally worked out that deal and they had the draft we knew who the number 1 pick was going to be we already knew and it was who's going to win the Sidney Crosby lottery it was won by the Pittsburgh Penguins. 
which, uh, you know, a lot of people said, you know, all oh, that was, you know, a lot of people, again, people have been thinking the, thinking the draft lottery has been rigged for a long time. It, Pittsburgh had been an awful, awful team for like the three or four years leading up to that. They were god awful. This is when Mario Lemieux had to come in and save the team as an owner. So, you know, they, they were just, they were an awful team. And yeah, people thought, you know, they were, that, that, oh, it was rigged because they had gotten Malkin the year before. And, but again, the Penguins were a horrible team. They were literally like 30, like they were the absolute worst team in the league for at least two or three years prior to that. If not the worst team, second to worst. They were that bad. So when the when when the Penguins won that draft lottery, I was happy. I was like, awesome. And you know, we 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 know we know the results of uh, we know what's kind of happened with that. Sidney Crosby still with the Pittsburgh Penguins, three Stanley Cups, and uh, and just a phenomenal player, first ballot Hall of Famer for sure. And, uh, and yeah, like I said, I, I, you know, he's, he's number three. Now, like I said, I went back and forth between number three and number two to where between these two players, Sid and Crosby went third. This guy comes in second. Connor McDavid. Like I said, I went back and forth. I went back and forth on who 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 my number three and who my number two was between these two players, Crosby and McDavid. And McDavid, I mean, I mean, he he between him and Leon Dreisaitl, my God, they're human cheat codes. <laughs> they're just, I mean. You you literally you hear you hear the phrase you know you can't stop him you you can only hope to contain him, that's Connor McDavid. You can't stop him. He is a human cheat code. The problem that Edmonton has had the last couple of years, and especially this year in the playoffs with how good McDavid and Drysdale were, if they had any kind of goaltending, I think they beat Vegas. I do. I think if the if if the Oilers would have had any kind of decent goaltending, I think they would have beaten the Vegas Golden Knights. And if they if they end up getting getting some kind of goaltending and they beat Vegas, is it the Edmonton Oilers that would have ended up winning the Stanley Cup this year? I don't know. Because McDavid McDavid and Dreisaitl, that one-two punch is just is lethal. But, like I said, if they had any kind of goaltending, I think they could have beaten Vegas. But McDavid, yes, he is literally a human cheat code. And he is so fun to watch. He's so electrifying. And the Oilers are going to be a team, again, to be watched this next season. They need goaltending. My goodness. I could not understand why they kept going to Stuart Skinner when you're paying Jack Campbell five million a year to sit on the bench. Skinner got yanked three times in that series. Why did you not go to Campbell? What? What? How bad could Campbell have been? Campbell could have given them that that company goaltending that could have maybe been the difference. We'll never know, unfortunately. But next year. We'll see. We'll see what McDavid and uh, and those boys can do, and if the uh, if the Oilers can finally get over that hump, because the fact that McDavid he's he's been to the conference finals once, he's never won a Stanley Cup. To me, to me right now, that's 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 criminal that he has not even gotten to the finals yet. So hopefully, at some point, maybe next year, he can finally get there. That would be fantastic. Number one, my 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 number one current player. This would probably be 
no surprise I don't want to get my I don't want to get my sleeve in the ink so up that goes this no surprise I don't think for a lot of people Alex Ovechkin. I mean, you want to talk about a guy who has who has throughout his career been a human cheat code. Alex Ovechkin is fa is phenomenal. He is, and I'm going to say he is. It's not if, it's when. He is going to break Wayne Gretzky's goal record. He is going to do that. That is going to happen. It's not an if anymore. It's when. He is, I mean, he's just, I mean, what, what in the world can you, what can you say about Ovechkin that hasn't already been said about him? The guy is incredible. I mean, I just, <laughs> everybody always talks about, you know, with, with Ovechkin. Well, he only has that one spot that he scores on. Yeah, and yet he still always scores from there. You know where he's going, and yet nobody can stop him. The goalies can't stop him. The players can't stop him. He goes to that one spot in the circle. That friggin' puck goes over. He one-times it, and it's it's in the net almost every time. Everybody knows where he's going. Nobody can stop him. And he still is scoring snipe after snipe from that spot. But he can he can score from anywhere on the ice. He loves that one spot, though. Oh, boy, does he love that one spot. But again, nobody can stop him. Until somebody can stop him, you know, he's going to do that again next year. And, you know, he's getting older. I think he's going to be, what, 37? So, you know, we figure it's going to take, you know, at least potentially two more seasons to break Wayne uh, Wayne's goal record. And, that, and, that's, and that's if, you know, and that's... You know, I mean, is there is there is there any reason we can't think that Ovechkin couldn't hit at least forty goals again this year? I think he can, even at thirty-seven. You know, you just you know at that age, you got to be wary wary of injuries and you know and you know the little injuries that might you know hinder his play for a little bit. You know, who knows? We'll have to see. But the the guy just you know, I mean, you know. His 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 hair color is getting 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 a little grayer, but his talent is still there. It is phenomenal, and he is my number one current player. These are my top five current NHL players. Who are your top five current NHL players? I would love to know in the comments section. And uh, again, if you if you if you if you like this video, hit that like button. If you love the video, hit the subscribe button. Also, as the dog barks, hit the uh, if you want to be notified anytime future videos are uploaded, you can hit the little uh, hit the little bell to uh, notify you anytime uh, current videos are uploaded. Annabelle, as the dog goes as the dog goes crazy, <laughs> but let me know who your guys' top five current current NHL players are. Again, if you haven't done it yet already, please do so. Hit the like button. Hit subscribe. Hit the little bell too if you want to if you want to be notified anytime future videos are uploaded, and uh, yeah, I'd say this is this is a pretty decent top five. But again, let me know your guys' top five, and uh, again, hit like and subscribe. I will see you guys later.